damp and eventually kind of wet once again. Right now we're continuing to see some of those scattered rain and snow showers up to the north, but still not a lot of this appears to be hitting the ground. Now here's a little bit of a shift in forecast down to the south. I've been watching some of these pop up thunderstorms continue to gather a little bit more strength right from Kansas City up through Saint Joe's and then getting a little bit closer to us. So we are going to likely be fast forwarding our timeline by just a little bit for how soon we could see some of those scattered showers and storms arrive for areas south of I-80 and then continue to pop up around the metro. As of now, though, we're going to keep things mostly pretty calm. And in fact, I hope it's still there. Yeah, a little bit of clearing. You're getting just a touch of sunshine right now as we look on the downtown sky cam. Just a little bit. There's still plenty of cloud cover out there. 48 degrees continuing to warm up into the low 50s for today. Even warmer air expected for tomorrow. But let's just break down the next 12 hours. Again, I'm fast forwarding that timeline just a touch for how soon I think we could see some of those scattered showers and storms really start to have an impact in a more widespread spread way early evening looking more likely and then continuing through the overnight hours. That rain is just not going to stop for most of us heading into the early morning hours of your Thursday. Then we'll take a pause before we bring in even more of those storms for the later half of the day. So let's break it down for you hour by hour. You can see some of those more scattered showers and possible isolated storms continuing to stream on through throughout the afternoon and then into the early evening. But then it's more so as we get into the later evening hours and through into early tomorrow that we start to see the potential for some of those stronger thunderstorms. Now I don't expect the morning hours to have any severe weather for us, but of course we'll be watching for it. It's more so as we head toward the later half of the day, and that's because as all this moisture shifts to the north, there is a possibility that we could see some clearing here. Now we already know that this is a warm front coming through that's going to bring much warmer air with it. Temperatures likely in the mid to upper 70s for some folks with plenty of humidity out there as well. Now, if we see that clearing and that good warm up up to the north, that's going to really facilitate the potential for possible severe storms. That could mean the possibility of an isolated tornado or two. More likely than not, as that cold front starts to drop, we'll likely just be seeing some heavy rainfall rates, gusty winds, and the potential for large hail as well. This is a look at 11 o'clock at night. You can see those storms continuing to cross on out leaving us alone by the time we get to Friday morning. That'll be nice and calm for us right now. We're only in that marginal risk for severe weather just because there's still some uncertainty about that clearing and potential for heating up north, but we will be continuing to keep you updated on any of that increased potential for severe weather. Total still expected to stay between a half inch and an inch for most spots around the metro. Higher amounts getting close to even two inches for areas just to the east of the metro. Only tenths of inches on the backside of this for areas farther to the west. So the next couple days are going to be pretty busy, but Friday, Saturday, much calmer, much quieter and temperatures dropping to the low 40s. Now Sunday into Monday, we reintroduce chances for showers transitioning over into snow showers. Waking up Tuesday morning, we could be talking record cold temperatures, so we're going to have to watch that in the days to come. And then in the next week, well, there's still a lot more to come that's keeping us mostly cool with some off and on chances for possible precipitation. But we're going to keep you posted on what's going on with these possible isolated storms moving in a little bit quicker this afternoon and then continuing to watch out for severe weather for tomorrow.